Welcome back to Pirate Studios. So, today I'm going to get absolutely crucified on the internet for this video. <laughs> so, I keep, I keep getting beat in the head on the internet by the sound is all on the speaker. Well, I have three different amp heads and in this video I decided I've already I've already listened to them and jammed through them through the same cab already and I thought those don't all three sound the same these are three different amp heads in three different times of my recording and playing life and um, I found out that two of them do sound similar but one of them does not to me I don't maybe I'm freaking deaf so I'm probably gonna get destroyed in the comments on Facebook and probably gonna get destroyed on the comments on YouTube um, but you know I you know I've been beat over the head with saying that it's all everything's all on the speaker well this is a test and I'm gonna let you hear it right now to see what you think about um, whether all three of these amp heads sound the same what we're doing is this is a Sennheiser 609 and it's on off just barely off the center cap so here's the cap and here's the edge of the cap so cap edge that's where this is I EQ'd I EQ'd them, them all the, the best I could the, the similar I could the gain on these two are up all the way because the gain they don't go up as high as that EVH but there's more there's more difference in the sound of that EVH on this cab than just gain so the whole it's just the speaker how can that be true when these two amps sound nothing like this amp same speaker same microphone same position, same preamp, going into just the Behringer Euphoria UMC 1820. One of those channels. The volume's down all the way. No pad. Dynamic microphone. I mean, that's it. It's the same exact thing. So, if it was all in the speaker, then all three amps would sound the same. Just the only difference you would hear is the gain. So, I guess let the crucifixion comments immense but we're gonna um let's do a little playthrough and you can hear just the three different ones in a row and uh then we'll uh i'll play them kind of in a quicker motion so you can really hear them a lot quicker anyway hit it All right, so it's up to you. It's your, it's your opinion versus my opinion. So I hear a difference. I hear a big difference between the two amps, these two amps versus the EVH. So let's listen to these recordings. I'm just going to play them real quickly. Um, one, and then I'm going to hit two. Here, the next one, hear how similar they sound. Then I'm going to go between one to three and two to three. So here's one. So I'm just going to switch. You can see the screen. So one of them sounds like it's got more mids. The crate, the crate sounds like it's got more mids, a little bit more open. Let's go to one to three. Three is the EVH, as you can see. I 
I mean, I hear that one is is a lot more. It's a little bit mud, more muddier, and it's got more bottom end. That B fifty two does. Out of all of them, the B fifty two has more bottom end. That's the thing. If you haven't seen my B fifty two solo video, just the review of the B fifty two, I'll leave a link for that in the description. You can check out that full video. So the B fifty two's got more low end than anything. The resonance knob is turned up all the way on that EVH. So let's do two to three. So that's, that's, there you go. I mean, make up your own mind, but I just, the sound is not all in the speaker. Till next time.